When a friend suggests me a game, if I can, I test it. Even more, when it sharpens our curiosity with details about the game that leaves me wonder if the game can be able to surprise me. Cube 2 takes on a difficult formula and comes up on top. The game does not disappoint. Cube 2 is an, an almost pure puzzle game where there are some platform components. Emilia wakes up lost and without memory in what seems some sort of alien ruins. With the help of Emma's communications, she tries to find a way back to Earth. Soon, she begins to receive communications from another entity, but I will not get into big spoilers, okay? Graphically, the game is very beautiful, even considering that 80% of the game is spent inside a giant cube with cubic rooms and walls that are made of small cubes. Over the time I began to consider that this might be related to the name of the game, but I still find it that evidence inconclusive. At some point in time, the action starts to take place in a more external environment, and the characterization of a post-apocalyptic atmosphere is credible, without the traditional exaggerations of other games. The music and sound effects are well thought out, with the music being very relaxing, not providing distractions in a game where it's important to be focused on the details. The only problem I point out is that often the music runs over dialogues, which makes them difficult to understand if we do not have the subtitles turned on. The game itself made me immediately remember of Portal. Even with less than 30 seconds of game I was already saying that it was a blatant copy, all it was left to know if it was a good or a bad one. In the game we have a suit that gives us the ability to manipulate structures to perform different actions and those actions allow us to solve puzzles to access new areas. In addition to the structures that we can manipulate, new game mechanics are gradually introduced to complicate our thinking process. That introduction is gradual and we never feel overwhelmed with information. The puzzles are mostly easy, with the exception of three or four which seem randomly introduced and not associated with any difficulty curve. Those usually require much more attempts to solve, including trial and error. The controls are not immaculate. I have been mistaken multiple times in the structure I wanted to manipulate, and sometimes it was not easy to time the jumps, which led me to think if, it, if I was solving the puzzle correctly, or if there was something that I was not seeing. There was not any moment of action or combat, which always gave me the, the feeling that I was solving the puzzles only for the sake of solving them. There was no obvious notion of purpose in the game, which causes in the final stage of about 6 hours that took me to finish the campaign somewhat a feel of boredom and I was just wanting to come to the end of it. This would be different if the story that the game gives us, the environment that the game tries to emulate, could make the decision, decision process doubtful. In my mind, there was never a doubt, and the, this game is about choices, and, but that choice becomes so obvious very very early in the game that the game feels biased since the start. The game tries to create doubts in our heads, but in my opinion soon we realize that we have to take part in the future, and we also decided that the side that we support rather quickly. In practice there is no antagonism in the story, the information provided, provided to us confirms what we already know and what we will do when the time comes. I know it's not easy to do it properly, but if the story was balanced with the, this diet, 
I might got more excited and want to know even more. But that was not the case. I think I've said enough to you to realize that this game has more than one ending. However, I did not feel minimally motivated to repeat all the puzzles that just to see all the endings. I simply went to YouTube and that's it. For me, no replay value whatsoever. In a nutshell, Q2 is an excellent puzzle game. If you like this type of games, if you loved Portal, this game is for you. Although it's still a notch below it, with a story that could be more balanced, the final product remains a game well above the average that I have played. I've started and finished it in one go. I could not stop. We get the feeling that we are clever at solving all those puzzles and we do not want to stop. Try it, you will not regret.